Here's a fun fact, I always use double equals in all the code bases that I own. In this lesson, we will look at why JavaScript developers care about the difference and why as a TypeScript developer you don't need to care anymore and you can just use double equals. So let's go. Here's the reference chart that provides the reason why you should use triple equals instead of double equals. And this is perfectly correct and valid for JavaScript development. The diagonal line running through over here is actually a good thing because we want the literals on both sides to be equal. There is a portion where this line does not exist and that is because objects are not equal just because their values are equal within JavaScript. They have to be referentially equal and that's true for double equals as well as triple equals and we don't have to discuss this in this particular lesson. Finally, there is nan for which you should use the number.isNan function. That brings us to the weird section of this chart where objects are of different types, yet with double equals, they prove to be equal to one another. Now this chart is mirrored, which is simply a representation of the fact that double equals is commutative, which is actually a good thing. So we only have to look at one half of the chart, which is highlighted by the triangle over here. We will go column by column. So first we will look at the weird cases for true, then the false literal, then one, then zero, and so on. So let's jump into some code and see why this is no longer a concern for TypeScript developers. First up, we have a JavaScript code file and we write down all the cases for the true literal. You can see that it's weird that true is double equal to the literal one or double equal to the string one or double equals to the array containing the number one. The cases for the false value are even weirder. And instead of running through them again, I'll just continue down and write all of the cases right in front of you because with TypeScript, you wouldn't have to actually care for them but we're writing this down to prove that this is valid JavaScript. This is not a syntax or a runtime JavaScript error. And in fact, if we run this code, you can see that we get the expected true for all of these cases. Now, even though TypeScript is a superset of JavaScript, not every crazy piece of JavaScript code that you will write will run through the TypeScript compiler without any compile time errors. And if you were to take this exact code and paste it into a TypeScript file, you will see that every single one of these cases is caught by the TypeScript compiler at compile time as a type error because the types on the two sides of the double equals operator do not match. This means that the whole class of bugs, which is supposed to convince you not to write double equals because you will end up with some weird type coercion, is not something that you have to be concerned with with TypeScript because it does not allow comparison between these different types. Another reason that JavaScript developers give for using triple equals instead of double equals is that it performs better at runtime. In my testing, I haven't found a conclusive difference of performance between the two options, and it varies depending upon the browser and the kind of code that you are executing. Neither option seems to perform consistently better than the other one, and therefore performance is not a factor that you should consider if you're going to be using triple equals or double equals. Now there is one particular case where double equals between two values is actually a good thing. I intentionally did not demonstrate this now equal equal to undefined case in the example that I showed previously. Let me explain why this is a feature and not a bug and why TypeScript will not give an error in this particular case. Here's that exceptional case written in code. Of course, we expect null to be double equals to null, but undefined is also double equal to null. And there's a good reason for this. Null combined with undefined make this value called nullish within JavaScript. To demonstrate that, here we have an example variable that might be a string or null or undefined. We have a number of utility functions to set this example to different values. A key example where nullish handling shows up within JavaScript nowadays is with this optional chain operator. The question mark dot operator will let strings through perfectly fine, but for undefined as well as null, combined known as nullish, it does the exact same handling, mapping them to the undefined literal. And this is exactly what double equals to null does. It handles null and undefined, known as nullish values, in exactly the same way. So the optional chain operator that we looked at is essentially just a terser form of the nullish check combined with the ternary operator, where we map nullish values to undefined and otherwise proceed with the standard chain call. So don't be afraid of the double equals null and use it to your advantage. Now let's talk about the one exception where you might need to care about the difference even with TypeScript and how you can avoid it. And the exception has to do with mixing types where such confusion exists. For example, we've created this type example that might be a string or an array of numbers. And our objective is to use this string check with equals one while having a number array within the example variable. 
Now, if you were to do it in a way where TypeScript will be able to figure it out, for example, assigning that array right before this if condition, TypeScript will not allow us to do this particular if check. But we can be a bit smarter to create a utility function to assign this array to the example variable and then invoke this function to throw TypeScript off our scent. And congratulations, we've made the double equals do something that we thought was not possible with TypeScript. But there is an easy fix. Whenever you are checking the value of a variable, which might be of a mixed type, make sure that the type is what you expect it to be before checking the value. For example, in this case, we can add a type card to ensure that example is of type string before comparing it to a string. And now we are back to our happy safe land. Now, if you find yourself doing this too often, or if this is something that bothers you, then maybe go back to triple equals, but now you should have a better understanding of why or why not you need the triple equals sign. And that's all for this lesson. A lot of work goes into making these videos even before I hit the record button. So if you enjoyed this lesson, smash that like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.